If you heard my sentiment on prior Disney remakes, I'm sorry to say that this one isn't going to be much different. Which is a shame, because I felt the cast worked in this one. I just wish they were in a better movie. There's always the feeling like these people are just repeating lines verbatim from the original, as in, the director was trying to stick so closely to the original that they're trying to shoehorn this actors into basically the same tonality. I think the biggest offender is Melissa McCarthy trying to emulate Pat Carroll while also trying to make it her own. The general aesthetics feel very lifeless, not helped by the character designs being quite static and dull. Seriously, you can do realistic without trying to force yourself into imitating life in such a static way. The Uncanny Valley has a lot of visitors in this movie, and when designs like Detective Pikachu exist, I don't think I can excuse Flounder or Sebastian. But let's talk about the plot and music of this remake, or rather the changes to the plot and music. We have some new songs, such as For the First Time. I wish they named it something else, but whatever. You get to hear Ariel's thoughts on the surface world. Obviously, she doesn't have her voice, so she's basically thinking through the whole thing. And I can see the song reasonably fitting into the original. This is actually a good thing. Not to mention Halle Bailey is actually a very good actress. On the other hand, some of the new songs don't fit so well. The Scuttlebutt is one of them. This is the weird rap that really doesn't fit the tone and music of everything else. Other songs have been altered, such as Poor Unfortunate Souls, which has an entire verse about Ursula telling Ariel to use her body to woo Prince Eric over. This change was probably to fit in line with Prince Eric's redone characterization as an artifact collector and explorer. It could be a subtle hint where Ursula doesn't actually want Ariel to fall in love with the prince, which is ultimately pointless because the Vanessa stuff still happens. I don't get it. Besides Poor Unfortunate Souls, Kiss the Girl was also altered to be Ariel's friends essentially shipping her with Eric. It's cute for what it is, and I can see the merit in it, especially since it contains one of the best sequences in the entire movie. Eric is trying to guess Ariel's name, but Ariel has no voice, so Eric learns her name through the stars by drawing the connection between Ariel and the Ares constellation. It's a cute moment, and I wish there were more like it, because it felt like these characters were characters, and not just people going through the motions of a Disney remake. Overall, I think the musical numbers were one of the best parts of this movie. I mean, this is the same guy who directed Chicago back in like the early 2000s. On the spectrum of Disney remakes, I think this is one of the more okay ones. It's inoffensive, there are stretches where it's annoying, but you can get through them. It sadly has the failings shared with other Disney remakes. The visuals stick too close to realism, which makes it look stiff and uncanny a good deal of the time, especially in the underwater scenes. This film has a longer runtime than the original, but extending the film doesn't change much in the way of actual story, only characterization, and characterization of one character, mind you. I appreciate it, but it's not helping in the grand scheme of things. And then there is the strict imitation of the original, to the point that the acting feels more wooden, or the direction feels more off. But those are my thoughts on the matter. Please consider liking, subscribing, and tipping the channel on Kofi. This is Cyril signing off.